Hey, what's going on, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, if you're Sean Diddy Combs, I know you thought you was doing a victory lap. And now I see why y'all was on vacation, clinking glasses, Misa Hilton Brim, like and post, talking about all time will tell. Because the LA District Attorney's Office actually reached a statement saying, yeah, we saw that video. But with the statute of limitations, we can't really do anything about that. We're going to talk about that in a second. We're also going to talk about the way the feds are like, baby, you don't got to do nothing but just shh, beloved, and push to the side. Baby, the feds are on this arrest. My legal sources are telling it's imminent. We also need to talk about these people that talk about some, the feds don't leak anything to you, so that's just how little you know. Tell y'all say, shut your dumb self up. Let me show you how it's actually done. Because, baby... The feds don't leak stuff. What country do you live in? You know that's legal. We're going to break down how high-profile investigations with powerful people that may protect them, what the prosecution does. And if anybody's giving them your opinion, ask them, are you a prosecutor? Have you ever worked on the legal side? Oh, okay, then shh. Baby, let's get into this. I do want to say there's so many people right now talking about some, oh my God, I just saw the video and now I believe it. The fact that there are so many people that because somebody had a good song, you like their lifestyle, you like the way people are. The fact that you are willing to overlook <clears throat> when people are willing <clears throat> to go inside on the record on the record and put grievances forth and you're going to sit there and act like, oh, they just want money. I understand some people don't. Who is it? Young, whatever his name, talking about, I don't believe in civil trials. Well, baby, too bad the rest of America does. Too bad our legal system does. Somebody literally sit, says that they don't believe in victims being compensated by money. Why? Because in your mind, money is more important than anything. Baby, I, I can't. We are going to move on, but I'll cut you back on that. Look at everybody. And, the, and here's the thing. This is what y'all got to realize. That's why the feds leaked the video. Why do people think it's the feds? First of all, the feds are not allowed to leak classified info. There is nothing in their investigation that's classified. Classified is what the president the CIA, the FBI has. There is nothing classified in this info. If they want to be strategic, we use the word leak because that's what most people understand. But truly what it means is they are being strategic in the way they share information with trusted, verified news sources in order to make sure that Diddy's rich and powerful friends know to stay away from him. They did it so that Diddy's rich and powerful friends, and I mean rich and powerful friends, know that if you step on this playing field, baby, you can get some too. It is a common tactic for prosecution. If you do not think the local attorney general, the local defense attorney, and high-profile cases do not sit down with vetted Trusted news sources, not TMZ, not Radar Online, not TikTok, not YouTube, not bloggers, but trusted, vetted news sources. How do you think 80% of the reporting on federal trials, on the Weinstein trial, how do you think that happens? What do you think the reporters are digging through trash cans? Yes, of course, sometimes they are. But can we really start like using our critical thinking? I beg of you. On top of that, you guys. Diddy paid $50,000 for the security footage. That footage you saw, if you roll it back again in slow motion, it is a compilation. It is what prosecutors refer to as an ed evidentiary uh, video compilation. Instead of the jury sitting there and being like, look to the left, look to the right, you splice all the security camera footage together so you see it as one continuous. That's why it looks like it's jumping angles, this and that, because it was spliced together. Now, I know Diddy paid 50000 and we are all thinking that that footage came from the raid. But do you think, and then again, Diddy is, seems like, if this can be believed, he has maintained his innocence, seems to be sick in the head. Do you think Diddy made a compilation tape of what that mess happened with Cassie. Do you think he made a compilation tape? 
literally jumping from camera one, two, three, four, five. That's why it's so jumpy. Do you think he made a compilation tape so he could watch it at home? Or do you think the people that assembled evidence for the grand jury and were presented in front of the regular jury, do you think for one second that they put it together? Let's think about it. Who do you think is more likely to do this? Maybe Diddy. He's done a lot of stuff that's surprised me, but my bet is on the feds. That's just my bet. I also do want to point out also that in the end of the day, too, do not think that prosecutors, when they're look, working for the state, are not above jury tainting. OK, now I'm using the term jury tainting. But what you do is you start getting your side of the story out. So out of the jury pool, they're more sympathetic. It's a common thing that defense lawyers do, prosecutors do. And yes, federal. Please Google and read up. How do you think some of this information gets out here? CNN is not TMZ. They are respected. You are allowed to strategically share information from your investigation to go. When cops are investigating, when they are looking for serial killers, do they not strategically leak information to trusted news sources in order to get the effect they want? I don't know where you guys got this idea that the feds do not talk in their investigations and when they're preparing cases to their vetted news sources. I really don't understand, but that's what y'all want to do. Let's get into this with um, the Los Angeles DA's office. They said they can't charge Diddy with assault against Cassie in 2016. Interestingly enough, look who is coming out apologizing with their tail between their legs and look who's silent. Because everybody that was defending Diddy should be just as loud as issuing apologies. They should. It's the only thing to do. If you haven't or they're being quiet, why was that? Because at the end of the day, you didn't care about truth. This is my opinion. They didn't care about justice. They didn't care. No, they wanted everybody to shut up so they could get a few people. Uh, uh, um, they could get a few pennies from the pe from the money they think Diddy has. Because. Why are you so loud? You just got proven that somebody got beat like a dog. You got anything to say? No, because it was never about that. It was just about proving your loyalty and kissing the rings, hoping Diddy will give you a few pennies. I don't know. 2024 is the year of exposing. So anyway, this is the LAPD. They said we're aware of the video that's been circulated online, allegedly depicting uh, Diddy assaulting a young woman in Los Angeles. We find the images extremely disturbing and difficult to watch. If the conduct depicted occurred in 2016, unfortunately, we would be unable to charge as the conduct would have occurred beyond the timeline where a crime of assault can be prosecuted. As of today, law enforcement has not been presented a case related to the attack depicted in the video against Diddy. But we encourage anyone who has been a victim or witness to a crime or to report it to law enforcement or to reach out to our office for support from the Bureau of Victim Services. And I would encourage anybody to do that, too. Why is this so interesting? Because, baby, the feds are coming for Diddy. We don't have to worry about the LAPD, the district attorney. We don't have to worry because we saw what happened with the LAPD with the alleged bang bang of G in the studio and somebody already bled out. You guys, Homeland Security has it. I've heard the rumors. Diddy might be an FBI informant. Homeland Security investigations are not the same thing as the FBI. They are senior to the FBI. So whether you believe Diddy got the police on lock, whether you believe Diddy got the FBI on lock, Baby, he don't got Homeland Security investigations on lock. These are the same people that bought down El Chapo. And please believe El Chapo's money went very, very far, even in America. Y'all saw seasons one through however of Narco. Listen, y'all, I just jumped out of my coma. I am going to be hitting y'all with some Diddy news. But until then, stay tuned. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.